Richard Southern joins us to chat about a few interesting stories on this Friday, Friday the 13th to be specific, Richard. So does this freak you out? Are you superstitious? You know, I grew up in a Latino household, so I'm a little superstitious. It kind of just gets passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> so, uh, yes. You're being careful today. You're, You're watching where careful. you step. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, I've never met a Friday I didn't like. Any Friday is good to go with me, quite frankly. But listen, I want to show you some stats about Friday the 13th. And statistics show that 13% of us are concerned about Friday the 13th. They believe it to be unlucky. No one has been able to prove that more tragedies occur on Friday the 13th. Although, consider this. Rapper Tupac Shakur died on Friday, September 13th, 1996. The Germans bombed Buckingham Palace on Friday, September 13th, 1940. And Ugandan Air Flight 571 crashed into the Andes on October 13th, 1972, infamously leaving all the survivors with cannibalism as their only choice for survival. So consider that. Uh, Fridays have been considered un 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 unlucky for centuries. Uh, the fear of uh, number 13 has its roots apparently in Christian and uh, Norse mythology and we pers we kept the number 13 out of our cultural norms like you know there's, there's 12 months in the year 12 uh, hours on a clock building stone have 13 floors and fear of number 13 can be severe it's actually called triskaidekaphobia hmm. the fear of the number 13 so there you go some interesting facts on this Friday the 13th for you yeah that's enough proof for me to just be a little extra careful today I think now, uh, I'm gonna be safe because I'm gonna be on a patio having a beer after so I don't think anything <laughs> shall befall me there yeah I hope not no 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 just keep your fingers crossed just a long build it's a big build <laughs> now, Richard you've got a nice full head of hair there but we better be careful when we describe those who don't you can't see the top, uh, <laughs> thankfully, Melissa. <laughs> uh, there's an interesting story out of Britain now. Uh, apparently, calling a man bald can be cause uh, for sexual harassment. Be careful oh. what you say. Yes, uh, this is according to a UK employment tribunal. The decision relates to a claim brought by a British man who worked as an electrician for 24 years. Before he was fired in May of last year, he complained that he was the victim of sexual harassment because of comments made by the lack of hair that he had by his boss. The tribunal determined that using this insult was a violation against the man's dignity and that it was intimidating and that it related to his sex and therefore was sexual harassment. So do be careful what you say. Well, luckily you do not have that problem, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> give, give it about five years and uh, I might, we'll see. <laughs> now let's wrap up with this heartwarming story on this Friday. Canadian Alex Trebek died back in 2020, but his legacy sure lives on. Yeah, I wanted to end on this one. A, a new homeless shelter has opened uh, in Los Angeles and it bears uh, Mr. Trebek's name. It's um, the uh, new Trebek uh, Center uh, there in Los Angeles. His widow, Jean Trebek, was on hand for the ribbon cut cutting. The shelter contains 107 beds and will provide help for people to find permanent housing. The Trebek Center also includes a Trebek library within it. There's his widow at the opening. Making all of this possible was a half million dollar donation from the Trebek family. Great to see that. A, a great uh, Canadian there, Alex Trebek, right? Absolutely. Love to see it. Well, thanks so much, Richard. Have yourself a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday. See ya. Thanks.